Hey, what goes on guys? We're back here again with another review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Avengers Retro Carded series Tigra Marvel Legends by Hasbro. Um, now, I couldn't find this anywhere. I didn't put in a pre-order at GameStop, which was dumb on my part, but I just just kind of slipped my mind, and I really wanted this one because I know the original Target exclusive one is not that very good of a figure, but has an amazingly high price point. Uh, I know she goes for a lot. She probably is going to go for less now, considering that this is released, and it is just incredibly, like, so much better. Um, I see one problem right off the bat, but we'll talk about that in a little bit, but other, th this looks pretty good. We'll get into it, but taking a look at the packaging, I love the art here of Greer. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I, whenever I was reading about her, I always like didn't know how to pronounce her name, but I think that I think her name's Greer. She looks really good there. You can see the claws. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. The feline fury tiger at the top with the stars. You can see on the retro card, just like the original or the other um, retro card ones on the back there. Usually they have like a, or I guess they just did it for the Spider-Man ones, but it's like a, an action feature. But I guess she really doesn't do anything other than switch hands and heads. But even then they would just do that. Um, you get the same art there. Uh, fast feline reflexes and prehensile tail make Tigra a dazzling force to be reckoning with. So... Okay, cool. I like the logo there. I didn't know they called it the Feline Fury, but it looks awesome. Classic West Coast Avengers character. Really, really happy to have this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop her open and take a look. I just thought I'd go ahead and show how I open these because I do like to try to keep the packaging, especially with the art that looks this cool. Plus, I kind of have a sneaking suspicion that she's going to be worth a little bit. So what I like to do, and I took this tip from Shardimus Prime, so thank you. Shout out to him. Um, doubt he's ever going to see this video, but go check him out if you haven't already. But what I like to do is cut two vertical lines down there and then one horizontal across the bottom on the, blis on the blister. And you lift that up, move the action figure information and then just kind of pull her out through the bottom and then obviously you know you take her out and just slide the tray back in and then when you set it up right there so if you wanted to take it out play with it and then put it back in i mean technically it won't be mint but you can barely see that like even like looking at it like right there like you can barely see that that's there so it could be cool so i like to try to keep the packaging on things so that's usually what i do just thought i'd go ahead and throw that in the video for you guys in case you were wondering so taking a look at Tigra out of the packaging, I gotta say, she's pretty cool. I don't think she's perfect. I think she could be a little bit more accurate to what they were trying to go for, but honestly, I think she's really cool. She's got a lot of good, um, I mean, she's 100% new sculpt, obviously. Even like something as simple as the hands are new sculpt. Um, all the body is, obviously she has a seamless, or I guess pinless body. Um, so both arms and legs, which I like, I hate when they do like just the arms pinless and not the legs or just the legs, not the arms. That's really crummy. It's like really lazy in my opinion, but it's not the end of the world. I know Hercules from this series is going to be pin arms and then pinless legs. So we'll see how that goes. If it bothers me as much in person, but she looks really, really good. So going in for a closer look on the head sculpt. Now, this was one of my issues, I think, but I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm crazy, but on the alt head, which we'll talk about a little bit more in depth in a second, you can see on the side she has the stripes on her cheeks. Is this head supposed to have that too? Or does she only get that when she's like activating her power, so to speak? Also, please don't mind my fingers. I've been painting windows all day, so I can't get the paint out of my nails at the moment. But I just thought I'd get that out of the way. But um, yeah, I can't tell if they're supposed to be black on her face and i haven't seen any reviews of her yet because i you know i like to try to keep my reviews my opinion so i try not to watch too many reviews before i get the figure but i just didn't see them anywhere so let me know other than that i think the sculpt is very very nice taking a closer look looks very good i think it looks like it's supposed to the hair like kind of combed or brushed back or whatever looks really nice the eyes are painted really good the lips are painted good so i really like that going down to the body the tiger stripes are painted all across the body you get them down the arms, on the collarbone, and in the neck there. You get that little clasp that is kind of off-center, just a tab that holds her, like, bra on, I guess. The bra is just painted, so they're probably going to reuse this for something else. But the shoulders do have fur sculpt on there. And it's not just painted on there. That is sculpted along with the elbows and the forearms. So, and the hands. It's all sculpted fur. The only part that doesn't have sculpted fur is the bicep. So... 
I don't know, maybe they're going to use it for a Wolvesbane or a Feral. I'd be down for both and either of those characters. I'm not really sure who else they could do for a furry cat or dog lady, so I'm not sure, but the torso looks good, the paints are really good across there, I like that little space in between some of the stripes, then the claws or the teeth that go along her, like, underwear, or bikini, or whatever you want to call it, they look really good, there's, like, some sculpt, like, uh, I guess this body is going to be for her, too, because these are sculpted, and so is, like, the little cloth that would, like, be emulate, like, the hole for her tail, which her tail looks really good too. It's made of a soft plastic. The stripes are painted all the way around. Um, and there is some nice fur sculpt in there. I don't know if you got if the camera's picking that up. Yeah, it is. So you can see that there. And then it's got like the black tip, which looks good. But yeah, there's like stretch marks or stretch, like the fabric stretching, which looks cool. The serial numbers are like molded on the back but not painted so it doesn't really bother me i didn't notice that until just now then going down the legs the pinless looks really good especially with the stripes the kneecaps and the elbows are a slightly different color and it bothers me a tad but not crazy but that's painted very well and then um there is like a little bit of fur like right above the knee which is a really weird spot to put fur but it's the only spot on the thigh and then on the back she has like the fur on the back of her legs which looks really good and then you got the feet that also look good they're hairy feet <laughs> um the sculpt there but there's no painted nails so my nails are painted but hers aren't so i'm actually probably gonna go ahead and paint them and then maybe show at the end of the video depending on when i get that done because I, I do think her nails need to be painted as you saw in the box i put the box away already but they are supposed to be white or like a cream color i wish they just took that color and put that on the nails, I would have been totally fine with that, but anyway, she does come with a couple accessories, nothing crazy, but let's go ahead and take a look at those. So switching out all of her parts that require switching, um, we got the different head on here, which like I kind of showed earlier with the stripes, looks really good, this is definitely the head I'm going to be using with the sculpted out hair, I think a wash would have been good in her hair, but I should have said that about the one that she comes with too. Um, it's really tight on the ball, so it's kind of just moving on the bottom right now, but it honestly isn't that bad. But the sculpt looks good. I like her teeth. You can see her sharpened canines. The rough paint for the stripes look really good. The eyes and the eyebrows and lips are painted all very clean, so I really like that. And then other than the wide open hand, she does have fist hands, which have the same paint on there and the same fur sculpt on there. So a lot of original parts for her. I think she's 100% new. Um, and not a lot of reuse value in my opinion. I mean, you never know. They always find creative things and you could simply just retool it. It's a very soft fur, um, sculpt. So it's probably easily reused, but just very interesting to see. But let's go ahead and take a look at her articulation because it is really good for a female figure. So taking a look at the articulation, I'm going to start off at the head and I put the one that she comes with on the package because I kind of already showed the alt heads articulation. She's not going to look up very much, which isn't a surprise. She's got a lot of hair back there, but she does pivot very good and rotate. So you get pretty good motion around there. I just wish they could find a way to make the hair a little bit softer or something so that she could look up more. But you can have her look up with her torso. The torso will lean back that far. It gets a little gappy. But honestly, like right there, it's not gappy and she can still look up pretty good. So that's not bad. Pivots fantastically. So goes that way, that way, and then it arches, crunches forward that far, which is really good for a female figure. And it rotates. So you get a lot of good movement around there. I actually really like that. Um, no waist swivel, which is fine by me. Hips are going to move outwards that far, down that far, kick forward, back, thigh cut, a swivel at the tail, which it does come out, so don't worry if it pops out. Not that big a deal. Um, you can just plug it back in. And it does rotate around. I kind of wish there was a hinge on there, but it's kind of soft enough to wear if you wanted to, like, have it there for a second and then, like, maybe fiddle with it. I don't know. But double-jointed knees work good, so you can't really get her to kick her own ass. But and not bad and then the feet will move backwards forward and she does have a good rocker it's a little detented but honestly not enough to cause any issue so i think the articulation works really good on her um did i show her arms arm goes out down it's a little tight at the shoulder round 360 does have a bicep swivel and double jointed elbows on a female figure so that's awesome and then the wrist swivel and hinge on all the hands so sorry if i missed the arms the first time but yeah, she looks really good and she moves around really good. So I think she, I think for a female figure, this should be the new standard of female articulation because 
it works better than any female figure I've ever played with by Marvel Legends. So it's that part of the video where you guys are asking yourself, yo, Ant, what are you thinking of this fig? And I gotta say, she's pretty cool. I think she's a little bit too red. I would like a more paler orange for her. She's very dark orange. And I understand that she's supposed to be orange. She's tiger. But I think she's a little bit too dark. I think she could have been a little bit lighter. And I don't know if these are supposed to have stripes on it. I'm going to look at some pictures and see if it is supposed to be like that. But if not, then other than that, it's pretty good for me. I would have liked to hinge on the tail. The accessories are fine. The nails definitely should have been painted. I think that's my biggest issue with the figure is I would have liked if the nails were painted. She'll look good on a shelf. So very happy to have her. If I was to give her a rating, I'd probably give her an eight out of 10. Needs a little bit of work, but honestly still a very strong release by Hasbro as per usual. But with that, I think that's all I got for today. So if you guys have not already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. I will be doing a giveaway at 300 subscribers, which we are very close to 200 at the recording of this video. So I don't think it's going to take too long to get there. So please, 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 if you have not already subscribed to the channel, guys, I really appreciate it. I'm not sure what we're going to be giving away, but when I figure it out, I'll do a poll and give it to you guys and we'll see what whatever anybody likes the most. And I will do a giveaway for that figure. But other than that, follow me on Instagram at Zach Toys. And uh, I will see you around soon. Peace. Also forgot to mention, let me know. You copping? Let me know if you're getting this guy uh, or this girl, I guess. Um, let me know if you're getting her. That'd be awesome to see if how many people are going to get her. So let me know if you're copping. But for real this time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.